here we are at day game, two. Yes. Round five, round five of the PTL Open three, and this is, you know, this is where the hard cores, uh, this is where they show up. This is the day two. We're here at nine thirty six a.m. Yes. on a Sunday morning. Yes, the kid gloves are off after some, uh, you know, fun times last night. We were we were here until libations 10, 10 and revelry was had. I and will then not lie. Everybody went out, but now we're back here this morning playing X Wing mm -hmm. round five of the Swiss. Mm -hmm. And uh, speaking of everyone being hung over, yes, you guys have way higher energy than the rest of the room, so until they get going a bit, quiet down. down a little bit, copy that. Uh, sorry. Producer Travis telling us that we are too hype, too hype, too, too hype, hype too for this hype. event. But I just, I'm just so hype, I can't help myself. Don, this. this is a hell of a matchup. We got we got yeah. Greg's sexy Chewbacca Chandler Burns over there with his Seppi Alliance list. Our first Seppi's on the stream, I believe. So far, yeah. Um, with a heck of a list. Uh, it's going to be real fun for the producer and production team here to keep up with all these little shippy ships. But let's run his list down because it's a little bit longer to run down than Cam's. Absolutely. Okay. <laughs> so he's rocking one, two, three, four, five, five separatist drones with, with grappling struts, as we've seen, incredibly efficient for the price costs. Absolutely. And then the two Stalgazian hive guards, the rocket and snare, which... Yeah. Those 30, Genosian Bugmen. At 34 points. Yeah, with maybe, Snare. Maybe everybody's been sleeping on it. Everyone was all worried about Sunfact. Maybe this is the way to go. Maybe. I don't know. And over here, we've got Cam uh, Murray rocking his top 32 at Worlds, Boba Fenn. Mm -hmm. uh, so Fenn, he's got him equipped with Fearless. And then Boba, he's got him decked out to 116 points. So yes. he's got Lone Wolf, Maul, Proximity Mines, a shield upgrade. Slave one. So this is a little bit different. There's no Han Gunner mm -hmm. in this list, and you know, but he's got the he's got the passive mods from Boba's ability. He's got mm -hmm. the Force point from Maul. Yep. He's got the Maul's ability, whereas if he takes some damage, he can get a stress yep. to get that. And plus, he's also got the Slave One title that lets him just like, oh, you're doing that? I'm gonna do this instead. So yeah, he's got this, so much flexibility. It is a very tricksy. Uh, Boba Fett and, and they don't call him Mad Genius for nothing like this is definitely he's been honing this list over the course of over a year he uh, had an iteration of this at um, PTL Open last year and uh, he's been rocking it and as you said he took this list all the way to the top 32 and only got knocked out by the inevitable runner up at World so not too shabby from uh, yeah. the man and this is a GRX versus GRX face off. Uh, it well, is. It's a, it's a grudge match, yeah. brother versus brother. Exactly. Clubmate versus clubmate. So it looks like, obviously, um, Cam's going to lead into the fact that you've got two ships, so he wants to make Greg pick one of them. There's a nice big open engagement point for, for them, and it's a. Yep. You know, Boba with the lone wolf and all, as you were saying, his, he's tripling down on his reroll ability. So this Boba is incredibly yep. accurate. Yeah, and um, it's really bold that he's <clears throat> that Cam has chosen to have Fen on that side against the Nantex. So he's going to be, he doesn't care. He's like, oh, you got tractors? That's nice. I'm I'm initiative six, so I'm not going to I'm just never going to be you. anywhere near you are. Yeah. <clears throat> do you think like, he's going to try to use his Fen Rao as bait? Or do you think, um, like if you're Greg, I think you go after Boba. I don't know. I played against Cam with the, all those different versions of, of Boba Fen mm -hmm. so many times. He just really just plays the list so well. He's very unpredictable. Yeah, I did have the pleasure of playing against this version of this list, that I think sometime last year as well. It did not go well for me. I can play that. <laughs> Spoiler alert. It was a lot of fun, though. It's always fun yeah. playing the, either of these two yeah. guys. But I think with with uh, Cam, he's just going to plow plow Boba right in there. And just start just lean into his stuff. strengths. Just he's got Maul. He's got his abilities. He's got four yeah. dice. Just, he's got the shield. Yeah. And just then, start deleting ships. Yeah, and then Fen just... Do some arc dodging and deleting. It's going to be, uh, yeah, it's going to be a lot of fun. And and Greg is this absolutely solid player in his own right as well. Um, you know, and uh, so it's going to be going to be a great game. The thing to point to is that um, Cam's firepower in this list is obscene. He can delete two ships a turn. Yeah. Right. Especially at range one, Fen is going to evaporate a, a drone. Yeah, and but as we saw yesterday, you know, Fen can also just never roll hits. Yeah, never roll hits and just die. Yeah. Oh, oh, okay. I guess I, you know, never roll evade either. Yeah, that's true. So it happens. That that's is the Fen true. Life. 
So it's looked like with the rock deployment and the aggression level from Cam, I think he's trying to take away Greg's ability to like pseudo fortress with the grappling struts mm-hmm. because there's no real rock in in his actual vicinity. Yeah. Okay, so there we go. So there we go. So, so we are seeing grappling struts there. There he goes. Struts it up. It's going to strut around on that rock. Mm-hmm. I love it. Like, let's just picture them. It's like putting their little wings behind them and strutting around like Mick Jagger. <laughs> All over the rock with the lips out. It's like, doot. It's like with the, the card with the like the head <clears throat> popping up. That's like Mick Jagger doing his little chicken cock walk. Yeah, exactly. It's, like, it's just hilarious. It's like a crazy visual. It's just like. That's yeah, going to be. Uh, in- I hope that just gets in everybody's mind. Anytime they see uh, a vulture jump on jump on a I feel like we have to do an alt art now for grappling <laughs> struts. Mick Jagger doing Mick Jagger. <laughs> Mick Jagger with a droid face doing a little gra- okay. I guess I know what our next next year's open there participation prize card is. <laughs> I'll get on it. <clears throat> so okay, it does so, look like Greg's going after Boba. Yeah, so so Greg knows that Greg knows that uh Boba's coming in. They're gonna just hello, greet him yeah. with a uh nice uh See if they can get anything through his crazy defense. So I'm assuming he's calculating here. He's not putting down the tokens. But yeah. That would be your natural, of course. That's how vultures roll. Let's and just calculate. Else? Let's share. Let's all be part of the team. Yeah. So Greg's saying that he knows that even if he does kill Fen, Bobo will just solo host his list. So he's, I think they've played each other enough to know that he, Greg knows if in his mind, his win condition is Boba dead first. Right. And then he just has enough to potentially whittle away yeah. and just wear down uh, yeah. Fen. Boba with Lone Wolf isn't going to die to a two dice attack from range three. Which there you go. Yeah. Fen will just do to spite everyone. Like, yes. Yes. Look yeah. at that. Look at me. How I mean, you pinned all your hopes on me? Too bad I died. Also, Boba can continually kill while he runs away with the rear arc. Absolutely. And again, as, as you were talking about too, now that he has the Slave 1 title on there, it makes him very tricky. Yeah. He's going to ensnare himself. I wonder, this is going to be really interesting if uh, he's going to be using ensnare to tractor his own ships yeah. into position where it's optimal for them. You know? Interesting. Yeah, because you could also pass the ensnare onto a droid into a better blocking position. I mean, these are really complex lists to fly with all these yeah. options and the synergies. It's not it's uh, not the kind of list you just want to pick up and try the first time, but you, oh, need, yeah. you need some synergy. Yeah, you can go ahead and definitely give that a shot, but I wouldn't advise it. Yeah. <laughs> and I think you'll see it right. You'll probably see the same sort of a self-ensnare rotate to get an entire wall of fire on a boba, which is why if... if if Cam saw this and nopes out this way, you know, he's he's laughing. Yeah, but yeah. Slave one title does give you that flexibility for sure. Just there's some table talk at the uh, the table that's quite entertaining. And, yeah. But, Greg, uh, Greg is saying, what's the worst that can happen? You kill two ships. And so here we go. So we. Cam's actually oh, talking see. me through how Slave One works right now. Yeah. <laughs> so here he goes. He's deciding whether to use the Slave One title or just dive in. Mm hmm. Can you bring the card up? All right, here he goes. So he does use the Slave 1 yeah. title there. So he had the hard one programmed in, and he's switching it to the one bank. No, I think he just had one bank going the other way. Okay. Oh, and he's going all the way to uh, use the rear arc. Yeah. Ooh. Yeah, I don't think he wants anything to do with an entire <laughs> wall of fire. I think two shots... 
maybe three shots is much better than seven shots. Right. And, okay. and Fenn also playing cautiously, not wanting to commit, yeah. which is and a smart move. But now Greg will have the option to be able to do the, the uh, double reposition now with the tractor tokens passing those off. Mm -hmm. So he's still going to be able to potentially get more shots in than... Oh, you're right, because he can pass those with the ensnare. He can pass them yeah. to his own front droids to get them back into arc. Right. Wow. Yeah, really, it? really interesting application. So obviously Cam had to protect Fenn in case Greg did decide to commit hard on Fenn, so he yeah. only went with the hard so one, which would have kept him safe. a little cautious on yeah. both ends. All right, so now is when Ensnare would trigger. Yeah. And I wonder if, I gotta wonder if uh, Cam's gonna can drop can you bring a proxy up the mine. Air, Ensnare card, please? Can you bring up the Ensnare card? Yep, so he is using it. All right, cool. Great call. Oh, there we go. So end of the activation. So after everybody's moved, same time as seismics and protons go off, mm -hmm. This goes off. So you could theoretically ensnare yourself out of a proton or a seismic range or anything yeah. like that. Or you could theoretically ensnare someone into, into them. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. There he goes. He does that. I can't wait for someone to develop some really interesting tech with the bombers, hyena bombers and ensnare oh, yeah. guards. Yeah. If I was gonna if I was playing this weekend, I had this three of those bombardment droids that shoot the proxies in yes. the mines at the front with afterburners. Oh yeah. That is a hilariously fun list. That sounds lovely. They just like Blast into something bumping do, <laughs> after doing the afterburner. And so you're like, you shouldn't be here. How did mm. you do that? And then drops a bomb on your head. So gentlemanly game, Cam suggested to Greg, you should probably bear it all him so he has a shot. Greg's like, does he not have a shot? Cam's like, no. Quality players, just having a good time, yep. helping each other out. I'm going to help you shoot my ships. Yep. So I think, yeah, actually also that actually helped get Greg, Greg got that one out of Arc of Boba. So he's not even able to take advantage of the tractor oh, tokens. really? Looks like Interesting. it. Interesting. Right? Yeah. I think that barrel got him out. Wow, that's awesome. <clears throat> so here we go. Fen taking his shot first. Yeah. He's going to go for it. Mm. So he's got three options there. He can tag three, six, or seven. Yeah. I feel like the drone is the way to go. Yeah, he's shooting at three? Okay, he's shooting at drone three. Right, because the vultures, of course, the more that more that die, less them are on board, the weaker they get as a yeah. whole. Because the, the less uh, calculating they can share. Yeah, absolutely, because of network calculation. All right, so two evades, spends a, spends a calculate, does not take any damage. <laughs> Ooh, range, we'll range one obstructed. Yowza town. All right, so he's got Lone Wolf. Boba reroll. So nice. For four hits. And Maul's force Maul's for four hits. And the force. <clears throat> Thank you, gentlemen, for the visual. Spending some friends calculates, so he just takes two. Still 50% dead. <laughs> Still 66% yeah. dead. Yeah. <clears throat> he's there living, living to uh, shoot and enjoy some time strutting around on that rock somewhere. But then you can, that, that shows you the power of, um, f um, of uh, Cam's build of his boba. It's quite amazing. The fact oh, that, yeah. you know, you, you love to be in that range one, which his ability makes him amazing. But whenever you aren't, you've got that lone wolf for that, those times yeah. when you don't make it into range one. Yeah. And then you've Just, got, you know, the mall force there. We saw he, he had no mods, yet he still managed to do four hits. Yeah. Yeah. Passive mods on top of passive mods on top of Are passive mods. Pretty good yeah. if we remember uh, back in the day. Yeah. What's better than one mod? Three. <laughs> that is. <laughs> One is better than three. <laughs> Ooh, double 
double crits. Two evades. And the thing that Rebob is the most powerful is the fact that his ability works on all attacks. Yeah. As long as there's, there's at least one ship at range no, one. It's not a charge based ability, it's just infinitely happens. Yeah, so what happened there is Cam used Boba's reroll ability and then Lone Wolf and got two rerolls out of two blanks. So yeah. he's, this is the most heroic Boba there is. All right, just having a peek at the other lists uh, these players have brought for the event. Because, uh, of course, with the PTL Open, every player has the option to bring three lists. And if they do play all three lists, then they get extra tournament points. Uh, so in addition to Boba Fenn, Cam has also brought a uh, crazy uh, Dash Rendar AP5. Of course he did, because yeah. he's a beautiful human being. Yep. So this is the wholesome version of Shotgun Dash. Okay. Because it has, uh, not Han Solo, it has Bistan. So mm. okay, <laughs> if there is such a thing. And then uh, looks like Cam's third list here is a uh, Whisper Chirpy. So, so so Cam didn't want to. So Cam brought as many ships in three lists as Greg has in one. <laughs> yeah. Actually, Greg has one more ship in his certain current list than Greg <laughs> than Cam brought for all three of his lists. I well, like it. Yeah, that's the part of the challenge of the tournament, though. Trying to travel light, try to have yeah, all those ships true. in your in your kit. That's just, true. You no, know, carry it around, manage your. It. <laughs> Seen players try to like do it with three swarms. Do it. No, do it with like just bringing minimal bases. So they're just changing out their bases, yeah. changing out their base chits. They like only bring whatever they need. Yeah. It's trying to do it as minimal as possible. It's a really great event. We get that slight little home field advantage where we can just bring our whole kits and our cars and yeah. just bring everything. All right. Now I'm going to quick pick here at Greg's other mm -hmm. list. He's got an FO first order uh, swarm of TIE FO fighters and SFs and a generic uh, silencer. Oh, he's got a Ven No, it's Avenger. Oh, it's Avenger. Oh, that's spicy. I like that okay. list. Okay. And then he's uh, also got a uh, five. Uh, looks like a scum salad here with Zuckus in the G one A Escape Craft uh, Pioneer Outer Rim Pioneer that lets them uh, from the uh, that's, Scum Falcon. That's not the one that blows up after two turns. No. Okay. This is the one that lets you sit. Have your friends sit on rocks and fire. Right. And he's also got a Black Sun Assassin, Captain Seaborn, Captain Jostero in that list. So a lot of a lot of versatile uh, lists on Greg. A lot of big lists. Lots of ships. Greg's opposite of Cam. So mm -hmm. it's awesome that you know these two guys from the same same uh, little pond mm -hmm. popping out completely different ends of the spectrum meta. So it's really healthy uh, sign for the game all overall. So where does Bobo even go at this point? That's the question I was going to ask you. The hard one ship right is, in, is no bueno because he's way too close to the board edge. Right. He's kind of herded now into that corner. It's, yeah. you know, this guy is probably going to do a rotation and I feel like, you know, hard one. He, so this know. guy can't hard one because he'll bump and he can't get onto the debris cloud. Yeah. So that's going to be interesting for Greg yeah. to figure it's out where he's going to put everybody. How close to the board edge he is. I assume because of this here, mm -hmm. it's quite close. But if he is some way he could exit here, yeah. exit here. That would be ideal. That would be definitely what. And are we going to see him use the prox mine here? I think he does. Yeah. I think, why don't you? Yeah. He used, for a long time, Cam was running around with uh, instead proton bomb right. on there. Which is ideal for this, but he was just wasn't getting the Man, just, like the use out of it. Just wasn't getting the use out of it. People would just see it, just avoid it. And so he's like, Okay, I'm gonna put this in and I know <laughs> and you get the direct effect with a proc with a with the mines, whereas mm -hmm. if it hits, it goes off immediately. And with the proximity mine, you got that one guaranteed damage and then the two possible damage yeah prox mines have really improved in in danger now you have a potential yeah. of three damage off of one prox mine and yeah. also you've also got the fact that it just is area denial yeah. right so it, it can really cut off people's approach vectors on you like if if cam was ever trying to uh, evade from this area and he puts a prox mine there like that seals off an entire area yeah. now now i know that it's not as important for him because he's got grids but all right, all right. 
So Greg's going to do a rotate, and then he's going to do a focus. Yeah, yeah. Right. Link so, to calculate. So it looks like look like Boba opted not to. So that is one of the coolest tricks with struts. That's His struts are technically trick. still closed. Yeah, they're open now. I think right or next turn. Yeah, they're still, open next they're still how they were. So yeah. he's got to close them. But yeah. so Fen, I mean Boba did not drop his mine. So yeah. He's hanging on to that. And that's gonna that's gonna free up number two to right. bump onto the grid. Yeah. So if Boba's going on that corner where Greg is banking hard that he is, if he, if it's possible for him to go the other way, slave one title is definitely the way to go. <laughs> if he if he had it. Yeah. If there's any way at all, he was thinking maybe to go down that corner. If there's any way out of it, he uh, probably doesn't want to go in there. That is definitely a nope zone. However, but if he know, does hard one, he might even be able to evaporate that that drone, which is drone four. Maybe, yeah. But And also, Boba, being close to all those guys, that's lots of passive bonds. He's up, you've got to get up over the threshold mm -hmm. of... Of two, because with all of his passive mods, the Lone Wolf, the Boba Fett reroll, the fours, mm -hmm. you know. <laughs> yeah. Is, uh, you know, he's, he, can, he can just tank the damage. It's like, okay, you're firing at me? Oh, that's nice. Oh, yeah. Oh, one? Okay, yep. Yeah. It's part of the frustration and the beauty of Boba Fett in <laughs> 2.0. <laughs> yeah. But, I mean, obviously... Yeah. Greg has to expose his flank to Fen now. Fen yeah, can just, just come ignoring. in. He's just like, that's fine. You're going to kill me anyway. I don't think I can do about it, so you're not going to split my fire. Exactly. I think Greg's focus is just to try to kill Boba while still having enough ships left to deal with Fen yeah. after. And so he's not hes not moving his uh, arc, so no... Uh, Ensnare shenanigans. Yeah, so no ensnare repositions. Yep. Greg warned us it was going to be some sloppy play this morning because he didn't get a full eight hours of what of rest and a nutritious uh, breakfast and dinner last night. We also, night. yeah, we did not have any nutrition last <laughs> night. We had the mother's milk. We had... <laughs> the bread of the gods. Yes, exactly. <laughs> right. We were drinking a lot of blue milk. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so Boba coming in with the three hard. So there was no way from... Oh, oh Talon! Oh, the Talon. I like it. As far back as possible. Okay. So that... And now he can use Darth Maul now if he wants to. Oh, no, he can't. Sorry. No. Um, yeah. But spicy, spicy nonetheless. He's just going to go with his passive mods. I mean, he only has two of them. Well, he's got his... Three of them. It depends on if he's range one in there to that or not. It looks like Cam had the option to be with the Talon roll, the versatility to move it. Yeah. So I'm, I'm assuming that he's just range one. Yes. Knowing Cam. Yes. But that was a fantastic maneuver, that Talon roll. That was excellent. I didn't even think about that. <laughs> yeah, and there's no reason for not to boost focus and just, just plow into somebody. Just plow in. Get that five dice punch. He's not going to get fearless, though. Yeah, no fearless. Doesn't need it. We'll see. Well, we'll Maybe see. he does. You know. He's just going to have a good time back there. He's going to try to squash some bugs. Yeah. I wish the uh, there was some way that a human <laughs> could make the Genosian talk. Oh, oh, and there's the okay. socks and sandals. Oh, the socks and sandals. Woo. Two hits and two crits. Two hits, two hit, two crits. It happens. I think that guy's super dead. That hit, crit, crit. So. Over for that. Go back to the hive, Gino <laughs> Sin. Oh, so he is not dead. Wounded pilot and loose stabilizer. Uh, No, I think he is dead. No, nope. he's got one life left. One he evaded life one. Left? He yeah, evaded a, one. Wow, okay. And force for three hits. He's going to... Yeah. But if he kills that guy, so that guy's still alive, so he's still going to be providing re-rolls to him. Mm -hmm. So he fought, he fought on that one. The one that was he was firing at previously that he'd laid into this cleaning up. Yeah. And Cam was saying he spent everything, his lone wolf, everything to make sure he got that board because he knows that. he has to get ships yeah. off the board ASAP. Yeah. <laughs> Greg's saying, I wish you would have killed the one that I had in range one of your ship. 
but he knows that Cam is smarter yeah. than that. Yeah, Cam's played this list yeah. a time or two, so he knows... He knows where, he wants to keep his Boba Fett reroll is, active yeah. as long as possible. Absolutely. And he didn't get greedy. He didn't try to get two or three. Nope. <laughs> Boba can Boba can take a little damage too. I mean, he did take three last turn, mm -hmm. but there we go. It's really interesting that Greg also didn't put shells on anything. So these uh, drones are just limited to two dice firepower. Mm -hmm. Okay, so he's used his lone wolf now. All right, so oh, all right, so all right, take one I'll more do a shield. Okay, is he contemplating whether to double stress himself to get a force point recharge from Maul's ability, which might help him on defense for the re remaining shots. Two shots left, range two and range one. Yeah, it looks like so. He's got he's droid two and droid four still to fire. <clears throat> he's doing okay. it he's, he's going to double Darth stress Mo himself those are the salt shaker salt squad. I love those yeah. salt squad ooh two evades here's his, here's his heavy hitter the range one pa pow two Oh, bye. Oh, gets Heroic. it through into the, into the hull. What well, was fine? He's like, that's okay. Well, I think Cam is a little bit frustrated that he, he you know, he, he played the odds. He took that second stress to give himself that focus point and well, it didn't end up mattering. But that's sometimes what happens. Dice variance, man. <clears throat> <Yeah>. <laughs> that's what happens. Sometimes it's good. Sometimes it's not good. That's a dice. Actually, that's still, that hive guard surviving is actually really good for Greg. Mm -hmm. Because he didn't get pull a direct and he's still alive, that's still one more turn that Cam has to take to kill him. Yeah, yeah. And also, now the ensnares can happen. Yeah. On Fen. Oh, that's Possibly true. if he wants. But he's got the wounded pilot and he has the stabilizer. Yeah, so his options are very limited. His options are, you know, his life is limited, but that's okay. He's he's a bug man, he's a termite man, and he's okay. Also, I think this is another term where we'll see the potential or the usability of um, Slave One now. Because both options, you know, having that options yeah. of being able to move one way or the other yeah. for Cam is, is quite powerful. Yeah, but he also <clears throat> wants to do his, do his blue moves, and on the Slave One, those are limited too but he could do he could do the hard turns though as mm. well he could hard three right out of that just use his back arc and then just sail away into safety yep because he still has his passive mods of force point lone that's, wolf. that's what i think between between maul you know his, his exactly his force point and his his boba rerolls and his lone wolf i mean and sitting on the two stress for this turn might not be such a bad call and then if they want to and if they want to follow him proximity mine yep on your head. Yep. <laughs> you <know? laughs> Absolutely. So, I mean, a hard hard two or a, the two bank are interesting options yeah. for him there. Or even he could do, he could just dial in a hard three. Yep. And, you know, if that's, depending on what they do, it's, uh, you know, he's, he can either commit to that or he can go the other way. I wonder if Greg's going to one Talon uh, number four. Mm, I don't know. Because then he could potentially block a lot of those escape vectors on that angle. Yeah. But then again, the, the problem with blocking Boba is you just ensure his ability. Yeah. Yeah, and, his, and Slave 1 is just so... You're darned if you do, darned if so you don't, right? Many, uh, so many possibilities for flexibility. So All you right. can see where Cam's had his dials down pretty quickly through the time. The yeah. benefit of having two ship lists is you kind of, and having uh, you know, multiple reps with the list is yeah. you kind of understand the way you should operate. Yeah. And then there's a lot for Greg to think about. Yeah, but Greg didn't have, Greg didn't hesitate. He's oh, no, a, oh, you're he's true. He's a seasoned player, so all his dials are down. 
I'm definitely yeah. not saying he's playing slowly. I'm just saying is that he has no, so no. many more permutations yeah. and variables with yeah. the fact that he's got the yeah. struts and the ensnares and the, he's got a lot of pressure on Boba right now. So he's got to keep his boot to Boba's throat. Yeah. <clears throat> so all the dials are down. We're just waiting for both players just to be confident to move forward. Tons of time left. This is an awesome match. Well, that's actually a good point. Cam is just saying, he's like, I could just go ship right and smash into three of your vultures and just give myself three rerolls. Yeah. It's actually, it's hilarious. Boba plays... Like, you know, you can fly him like a maniac. And this is a maniac list because both of his ships fly like psychos. They just want to be right up in your face and just throw fistfuls yeah. of dice at you. Really, the Cam's only consideration is that he wants to keep Fen far enough away. To keep that, Lone Wolf active. That Lone Wolf stays active. Yeah, that's, that's it. <laughs> that's really all he cares that's about. That's it. It's like, I don't need mods. I've got all these dice and I got bombs and I got this and I got that. I mean, it's a very cool build. The Boba build is very, very cool. Yeah. Hella expensive. Yeah. But, I mean, what's his bid sitting at right there? Is that a 180? He's got a 13-point bid. bid. He's got a huge bid. Just because, just so friends are happy about it. Yeah. You know. And, I mean, is there any other points to put on this list? Like, there's nowhere else for him to put points. There's lots of more points. As you can like, chuck points on, on Boba. You could put a you could put a proton torpedo on him. I guess so. <laughs> <laughs> you could put an illicit on him. There's, oh, that's true. There's options that Cam has dead not man's. exhausted just to ensure that Finn had that bid. Okay, so here we go. Oh, it's a two talon. Nice. All right. These are Cam's uh, very distinctive templates. Mm -hmm. Cherry blossom on lavender. Now he's just going all in on the reverse. Interesting. No, nope. now Greg is second guessing himself, yep. but that's okay. It's really interesting as well that uh, Greg has chosen to use the uh, the separatist drone. So there are three, the pilot, the initiative three value, mm -hmm. so that they're all on mm -hmm. par with the uh, Geonosian Nantex. Oh, so that's a bump. Versatility there. That's a bump. Because I think he pushed number two too far forward on the Talon. Possibly, yeah. So he bumped, and he was, I think he was counting on that Calculate token, which might make the rest of his formation crash. <laughs> they will fit. So we got a, we've got a arc rotation coming in. A self tractor using the Nantex's chassis ability. Oh, interesting! Just wants to get that set up so that he can get his ensnare going on. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's some lovely flying there. Yeah, that's nice. Just, just doing a little things off book there, so he's just double checking with his opponent. Yep, making sure that it was okay the way he placed that. Yeah. It's always good to talk you talk your opponent through what you're doing if you're doing anything a little bit different. That's some. It is very very smooth. It's a little bit unfortunate on that bump, but I mean, this is an interesting setup. Now I think he's probably going to see a rotation as well here. Yeah, the great thing about the Nantex is even if they bump, they can still do the rotate. Yes. All right, so he's choosing to get rid of. Oh, okay, so he's no. going to take a uh, stress from the wounded pilot because he is using his pinpoint tractor, right? 
He did not get rid of the wounded. He still, yeah. He'll gain a stress from the action. Nice. Is it okay? Is it oh. so double stressed? No. Okay. Oh, he goes for the big three bank. Does he want to smash? That's his <laughs> That's his question, yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think he does. I think maybe he does three bank right. I think Oh no, he's just gonna oh, he's I got guess the he's not gonna fall into the trap. Nope. He's not gonna fall into the Nantex and snare trap. Nope. And you know what? He's gonna prox mine next round. Oh yeah, it's such a good place for the prox mine. Yeah. Such a good place. He's gonna get what, one, two, three re rolls? Yeah. So many re rolls. He's gonna get all the re rolls. And he's gonna take one shot. Two shots. Yeah. You drop a nice big bomb. Mm -hmm. I don't know if Lone Wolf if he's gonna be able to maintain that uh range two distance from Fen. Yeah, he'll be two banking in, obviously. Yeah. And he's gonna remove that damaged Nantex, I think. I think I mean, he just see a focus boost forward. Yeah. I guess Cam's going to decide whether or not he wants to f push now. Yeah. or uh, But he also link. wants to keep Fen out of ensnare territory, too. Well, he, that's actually a great point. He actually does not want to get into range one. Yeah. He could, yeah. Lots of things going through their heads. I think I think he's currently out of range two now. I mean, obviously, that's probably what I, Cam's eyeballing. I think, Or if he rolls outward or inward. Oh, okay. So he's electing to not worry about Lone Wolf, and he just wants to go for... Yeah. He wants to take away the range one shot on Fen. Yeah, and he doesn't want to get in that ensnare range. So Cam's looking to protect his Boba Fett. So he's trying to delete that Nantex so that yeah. he can't put a four dice. Yeah, hit the bullseye through the cloud. All right, so now here comes the ensnares. All right. So Greg trying to do things arc. correctly because you can only do it in their in the arc. You can only pass it to somebody in your arc. All right, so can't do can't do the ensnare to two. Number five's facing the wrong way. He's, oh, he's gonna. Ins <laughs> Greg, Greg's saying he's a disposable drone and he's got no shots and no one's probably going to shoot at him so he's going to pass all of his ensnare tokens to that one ship all of his tractor tokens yeah, yeah. so yeah he passed the sorry yeah, yeah he pressed he's, so tokens. he's one less agility but he's like that's okay yes you and it's important no, that's okay. they don't stack yeah no yeah it's not like in first edition and there's so Fen's shot Fen shot he's going to focus for three That's one evade. And that guy's at full life. Yeah. So I think Greg takes the damage. Yeah. Yeah, you, you hold on to that focus for your four dice attack into... Oh, yeah. Into Boba, for sure. Absolutely. All right, and here's Boba's attack. And looks like he might have arc there. I don't know. Yeah, range one on that guy. On number four. Yep. All Boba right, reroll coming so... in. Of course, Boba for <laughs> all oh of it and all the blanks and just a crit. Yowza. Oh, and, and that, one of eight. That vulture droid's like, whatever. So, Greg's right. going to obviously try to save that Nantech shot for last, hoping to force. Yeah. To exhaust uh, all his resources. Which is right there. He was hoping he was going to do yeah. that. That's what Greg was looking to fish for. Right. So, yep. Got crit going through. Okay, so damage sensor array. So, he's going to no, take another not, stress. Not doing actions ever again. Nope. <laughs> I, think at, I think at this point it's the right call. <laughs> yep. Yeah. It's just all in survival mode. Yeah. Hit crit. Two evades. All right. All right. Just double checking the two range two. Yeah, yep. definitely range, range two. two. There, yep. Fen's least favorite spot to be. Yeah. 
See if we can get a little paper cut through. And, and look, hilariously it does through. one damage. And there you go. That's and that's how you get Fen. That's Fen. Death <laughs> by a thousand cuts. <laughs> or sometimes not even. <laughs> All right. That insanely beautiful okay. damage deck Cam's got over there. Yeah. All right. Here is the big number seven. Here's the shot that we're worried about. Here's the shot that we're excited about. All right. Boba's going to get all the defensive rerolls, though. Yeah. And he has his force again. And three. Oh. <laughs> Just natties. Yeah. When in doubt, shut it down. Yeah, shut it down with natties. I laugh then, in the face of your three dice, your three drop hits. a prox mine on a swarm. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. They'll like it. Hilariously enough, this would be a great place for that proton bomb. <laughs> <laughs> so good. So Fen's probably going to nope out. I think he hard to ship left. If that proximity mine's coming in. Uh... Actually, you know what? I, I'm fairly confident he's going to tag drone five with the prox mine. Yeah. So Fen can fly forward and not worry about hitting it. Yeah. Um, Boba, Boba's never taking an action ever again. <laughs> he's too stressed out about his damage sensor, right, to ever worry about it. And, and Maul is too, too busy being angry. Ah! Yeah. So, um, but I mean, as we've seen, you don't really need mods if you've got mods. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Active actions are only one way. So Greg still has a lot of ships on the board still. Yeah, he only was able to remove one. And this is an insanely tight game. Yeah. The problem is, is now... The problem is now is... How does Greg keep the pressure up on Boba? If he can bring down Boba, who's only sitting on four hull, this is a massive swing for him. Yeah. That's a 58-point swing for him if he can get that. Oh, yeah. He can lose a, two more ships yeah. before that matters. Yeah. So it sounds like Cam is thinking that he's not confident that the prox mine is going to tag number five. Okay. So he's just he was just joking with Greg that hey you just you guys are all tied pilot skill yeah I'm going to drop the prox mine and you, you guys get to pick can which one you sacrifice it. yeah. <laughs> Def I mean I, I don't think he wants to sacrifice the one that has he's damage. Oh it's actually none of them are damaged now. Oh just his hive guards are damaged. Interesting. Interesting. So, so he's still so Greg's still sitting on four drones. Yeah. <clears throat> Boba wants to run, but he doesn't want to run too far. Right. He wants to keep that range one. So Hive Guard Seven is most probably going over that debris. Yeah. Which means he won't be able to pinpoint. I believe. Uh, I'm not sure. Can I you bring up the um Victor? Can you grab his attention? Can you bring up the uh, Hive Guard? I think. So what does it say? You cannot rotate your action. One trash token to before. Yeah, so it's a rotate action. So he won't be able to do that. He goes over the debris. Right. So that guy's got his arc pointed to forward or back or, or right? Or ship left, it looks like. Yeah, so to his, it's pointed into his friends. So maybe he hard ones ship right to keep his arc on Boba and just eats the debris cloud. Yeah, that makes sense. It's highly unlikely he'll roll a crit and get a direct hit and explode. Yeah. But of course, it was highly unlikely for <laughs> Wedge to die at range three through a rock to a direct hit, and that happened too. Uh, that happened last time I said time. it, I made it so, so hopefully I didn't just curse Greg. <laughs> I don't... This, this Nantex is still alive, and he's sitting on one... One oh, yeah. damage with all that. Oh yeah, all those crits, still staying in the game. But every every game that every round that they're in the game is good for Greg. I mean, any swarm really. The more the longer you keep your ships on the table, the more power you have. I know that sounds obvious, but that's especially with the ones when they're sharing the calculates. So the one forward on the um, fire spray is blue. Yes. So fire spray can do blue one forward, one, two, or three, okay. all blue. It's only its bank, one banks are blue. Okay. But So he actually didn't tag. Yeah. So it's just like 
yeah, again, the angle of the camera just throws off our parallaxes, our vision. Yeah. But there it is. But yeah, so because Boba's never doing actions ever again anyway. So. Yeah. So Greg is legitimately using a full health drone to tag that that mine to save the rest of his ships. So for for the for the good of the swarm, drone four decided to fall on his sword. All right, let's see what happens. Two hits. So, so. I think that might be an eyeball. Yeah. So he took one from the one into one. Yeah. Yeah. That's still a pretty good result. And then he does a calculate. He's like, okay. Mm hmm So it does a two forward, just crashes into his friend. Yep. Well, I think they're checking if it'll fit. Which it doesn't look like it, it should. It looks like yeah, it looks like it no, it looks like it could because there's less than a base length between those two. Oh you're the, right. The, you're right. Sorry, my apologies. Yeah, it probably will fit. Yep, it definitely fits, my bad. That was a lovely maneuver. Right, does the that blocks Fens hard too, doesn't it? What's that? Does that block Fens hard too to ship left? Uh, yeah. That That's would... a lovely maneuver. All right, so now they're giving they're both us one. All right, so they're just making a little. Fen wants to come in. Going to welcome him with open arms. A little bread basket for Fen. Like, Here you go. It's a gift basket of drones. <laughs> they're not going to try to pursue Boba. <laughs> Greg commenting on like I probably could have done these in different orders to make this a little bit easier on my life. I think he's just trying to show off his fancy flying. So he repairs his wounded pilot. Okay, so wounded pilot's gone on that one now. He's Is still it? sitting on the previous crit. That's what he just said to he, he wanted to repair, and that's why he rolled for the stress for wounded. Oh, okay. Oh, he did pull a crit. Oh, no crit, sorry. Somebody else somewhere on the field got a socks and sandals as well. Yeah. And also, to just also mention that uh, Cam also, of course, is uh, has his Sabine Wren painted uh, ships. Oh, yeah. He, he won this in a raffle. Those are gorgeous. He's got an entire scum set of, of these ships all in the same paint yeah. scheme. And then he also won the the raffle th again this year. And so now he has a, f a fully custom Imperial set. Oh, really? Not as Sabine Wren, but it's the nice. one that they did this year. So it's just uh, when it comes to that raffle, Cam, Cam's a big winner there. <laughs> yeah, but those are very distinctive, gorgeous. Those are now his trademark ships are the Sabine Wren painted scum ships. Yeah. All right, looks like. So the Hive Guard definitely bumped. Bl or blocked Fen. Yep. So he's going to get three shots on, no, two shots on the Fen round. All right. Well, 
See what happens with Finn. You know. I think only one of them will be a range one shot. Is target priority choosing here? So if Finn, yeah, if Finn pops droid four, he takes that calculate away from Greg. Yeah. Oh, but he's got the he's got the Nantex at range one, it looks like. So he's got oh he's got that one. Oh. He's taking right, the range one shot there, which makes a lot it. of sense. Ooh, that's a fearless fiver. Four hits and a crit. He's rolling in. <laughs> Greg's anyway. like, did you have fearless this whole game? And he's like, Yes, but I've only been shooting you in the butt. All right, so he still adios. takes still takes three and blows up anyways. Yeah, no way around it. No, just the lead button. Yeah. Doo. Oh, there's a crit in there too. Yeah. <laughs> oh, and they got a console fire. So, so super dead. So dead. Over dead. And the important thing that's uh. That was Greg's one of two shots on Fen. So I'd probably shoot at number four who only has two health. Yeah. That sounds like a reasonable call. I think he's going after the Nantex. Ooh, hit crit crit. Yowza. Crit goes through. Damaged engine. Oh. Well, damaged engine isn't as bad as it used to be. What's that? It isn't the, It isn't as bad as it used to be. It only reduces the difficulty. Reduces the difficulty. Yeah. Yeah. But it does took. It does or take increases the, the difficulty. Yeah. Could you imagine damaged engine? Your ship got better. The ship is so good now. <laughs> <laughs> so, but that's gonna make the Nantex's uh, hard ones into red. Which sucks. Yeah. So now Greg's trying to figure out what to do with his. He only has one shot now. I think you shoot at Fen if he's at range two. Yeah, that's rain. That's Fen's death zone. Yeah, and then you calculate for two hits. If he blanks, that's massive. <laughs> so he blanked again? Yeah. Of course he did, because it's Cam. Yeah, that's Finn Rao. That's, <laughs> yeah, that's true. how he rolls. Range two? Yeah, yeah that's no. the range you die at. Yeah, absolutely. So if Greg had last... So if um, Cam now didn't Greg kill that other... Greg pulls ahead. And if Cam didn't kill that other drone, he would have been taking a second shot on Fen Rao. Yeah. So that's why it was smart, smart target priority for, for Cam. Absolutely. But that would have been a range one shot, which would have been, he would have got Concordia that's face true. off. He would have got his extra dice. So to be fair, actually, that was actually a better shot for him to have taken than the range two shot. Yeah. If there so, was a way for him to delete the range two. Which is in the bizarro world of Fen Rao. Yeah. You know, you have to get that into your mind. Yeah. It's sometimes, so, yeah. but the thing is, it's the double-edged sword. Is it the best shot for him was the range one Absolutely. in arc because he gets oh, the yeah. five dice with Fearless. Absolutely. Yeah. I just, I feel like Cam should put an advanced proton torpedo on Fen Rao because, you know, it's not enough. Well, it's not he's enough. Not, definitely not going to get the bid then. You know? <laughs> and then also with that, you've got to be able to get that lock. Yeah. Which is not a linked action for. Yes. It's so much harder for them to get locks really now. You really get that. You've really got to plan ahead and really got to work to get it rather than just like, nah, I'm just going to roll in. We're coordinating him somehow. Yeah. Yes, for Hills from the UK who played uh, when 2.0 first dropped, he mm -hmm. played a lot of Fen. Old Tarok and Paylob, and then he just had to stop because he was like, "This is just affecting my game," or I'm just playing worse and worse because you're doing weird things. Like, yes, I'm going to sit here in range one and, yeah. <laughs> and take that. It's like, yeah, they don't think so. Yeah, that was that's a nasty list. So, 20 minutes left in the game here. So yeah, still a long way. So once, I think that if. Uh, you know, Fen can list, 
still live. Yeah. <laughs> you know, it's I mean, Fen on One Health is still Fen bleeping around. Like, yeah. he's he's still just going to... Yeah. I don't think it's going to change his play style. I, he's, I wouldn't. I would still fly yeah. as if he was full health because yeah. there's really no difference. Yeah, he's got to just... Uh, keep continue, sticking him at range one and keep evaporating ships. Through, you know, two drones are at full health. Everything else is hanging on by thread. Yep. So he's just got to... Which is... Breathe on one of those almost dead guys. Squeeze another damage through. And just get the attrition going through. But with that said, Greg also has the opportunity now to just put all of his fire in defend, all yeah. of his arcs, everything. And he only needs one damage through. Yeah. And Boba is going to be at range three of anybody, if at all. Yeah. So Cam's going to have to take a couple of turns to disengage and, and clear Boba's stress. He'll probably have to take Boba around that way. Yeah, most likely. Yeah. So the only thing is uh, Hiveguard 6 already has his arc pointed this way. So it's not like he's going to be able to do any shenanigans with his ensnare. Yeah. But a hard one ship right makes a lot of sense for that guy. Some yeah. A Talon of some sort or a 1K from um, Drone 2 makes sense to me. Some sort of a bank ship left from Hiveguard 7. Seems to make sense. And then what? Hard 1 from Drone 4 and 2 forward from Drone 5? Yeah, all uh, they just want to set the trap. <coughs> so give Fen nowhere to go. Yeah. Because yes, he'll he'll be giving him a range 1 somewhere. And there's the hard 1. Yeah. So that's a white. Yeah. Let's go in the talent instead. Okay. I'm yeah, just going to take that opportunity while I know Boba's off on vacation. Mm -hmm. Just make life difficult for Ben. Try to push him out. But also, Kem could just hard run Boba for two turns and be right back into the fight. Could. But no, it's going to be at least three turns. You think? Unless he had uh, some type of slam going on. Mm. <laughs> it's going to be a while. Because the fight is just going to keep moving down into the corner right. again. And it's going to be a while before he can get back in there. Oh, one bank that way. Interesting. I wonder if he's going to rotate his arc. Okay, yeah, so that's what it is. He wants to... I, I think he wants to trap Fen by giving... Not bumping him, but by setting a net for him to fly directly into. Oh, yeah. And then pass off the tractor token. Absolutely. And then have as many shots on him. All right, it's a nice kill box. Oh, yeah. Well, tractored, tractored Fen is, is a good thing for Greg. Okay. So I okay. think with Cam, he's probably just going to have Fen take off. Probably. <laughs> right. Like, knowing Cam, he's not going to get in. Not going to get in. <laughs> he says that. Boba decided to leave. Well, what else can he do? Yep. Let's remove a stress. Well, as you said, so he can do one more for one forward, then Talon. And yeah. then he's got a three or four. So he's going to be out yeah. for a while. Or he could even like one bank and then from there do the Talon there and then come back in this lane here. But that's three turns away. So, yeah. Oh, if Greg blocked this hard one. That is super cute. Oh, nice. That is super cute. All right. And so oh, he blocked him. Yeah, so now he's blocked and he's in the 
in the tractor zone. Yes, he right? is. He so, will get tractored. So, yeah, so not looking good for Fenn. He's probably going to definitely get his shot, but being tractored and all those shots coming at him might be uh, might be some bad times for him. Even be at his range one ability kicking in, just bringing him back up to compensate for the tractor. Well, um, Greg could push Fenn back out to here onto the debris. Mm, I don't know. I don't think so. You don't think so? No. Oh, right. He'd be go, way too far forward. Go, yeah, yeah, yeah. He's got to either go forward or barrel yeah. roll into this area. Yes, yeah, true. Or barrel roll into that area. Oh, he is going that way. Yep. Yeah. Yeah, it'd be nuts if you could tractor people backwards. That would be bananas. Yeah. I think he's trying to get Fan out as many range ones as possible. Yeah. I mean, it's out of range one of the hive guard, I think, now. Yeah. But still, yeah, range two is where, with no bonus, where Fen doesn't live. But. Yeah, so they definitely get. Yeah. yeah. All right, so Fen's up. Let's see if he's got any range. Let's Put see if he's got a range, range one. one stick. If anyone at home is sitting on a cardboard range ruler. And they don't know whether they should cut off the range one. Don't. Do it. Really? Of course. Why? Because then you've got a brand new tool that's <laughs> way better. It's like, do yourself a favor, cut that off. And then you've got a range one stick and a range two stick. Just be careful. You do it right on the line. <laughs> Oh, So man. it was ruled as range two. So that's a great spot for Greg to be. One hit. Here come the green dice. Whoa. And that was enough. And that was not the round for Greg to blank. Because that gets oh, him. Man. No heroic for the saps. That hurts. That hurts. Hey, it's a dice game sometimes. Yep. It's happened to him too. He's blanked out on all of his Fenro defense rolls. So. Yeah. So Lone Wolf will at least be active here. Yep. Lone Wolf in a. And then he can use the Maul Force for three. Maul nice. Force. Nice. Three dice out the back. One evade. So he's still alive. Hanging on. <laughs> Spend and calculate. And there it is. Fenro rolled zero evades on how many shots? Four? Three? Three. So let that be a lesson, kids. <laughs> Block them and shoot them at range two. Because he'll blank out. <laughs> and there you go. So Greg is now way up. Yeah. So the onus is on Boba to come back in. Cam, got to bring Boba back in. Yep. So he can make up the points. He Well, he's got to kill two drones. Well, if he takes down the hive guard, that gives him 18 points. Yeah. That's enough got... to put him back in the lead. Or no, I'm bad at math. Uh, 18... Puts him at 26, right? Yeah, he's really so got to get in there. He's got to get two droids. Do some damage in that 10 minutes he's got left. Yeah, he's got to get a droid and the hive guard. Yeah. Oh, okay, so it's even closer. Yeah. <coughs> so, all right, so there we go. So this is an incredibly tight game. Yep. But, you know, one thing about Cam, he does the math. He's one of those players. Oh, yeah. He, he definitely does the math. He knows the math. Yes. He's a numbers he guy. Uh, so he understands that one droid killing a dead droid or uh, ha halving, halving a full health one or killing a half dead one still puts him at one point behind. So he's got to get that hive guard. <laughs> he's got to get that hive guard. <laughs> he's already given up half on his boba. So he's got to find a way to get the hive guard and not lose boba. Yeah. So he's got to be able to do that without boost or he's got to fix that damage sensor ray. Yes. <clears throat> yes. So that was the compounding of the where, he, where where Greg was able to bully him into forcing him into taking that second stress, and then the sensor array wasn't 
unfortunate crit the take at that point, yep. forcing him into taking that third stress. Yep. And, uh, well, I mean, Greg put everything into blocking that Fenrell. Like, yep. he, he really went in on it, and that was really, really good blocking. Yeah. So I think you think one forward for Boba? Get rid of the stress, clear console fire. Could do Sorry. anything. He's got lots of options. He's got a whole big open field back mm -hmm. there. But he's really just got to bring himself back in. Yeah. But he's got to do it on his terms. Check in for the for lock. lock. Yeah. Always good when those... Yep. Get him down, get that opportunity to lock. You know somebody's going to run away. Yeah, absolutely. When you... Oh, he did get it. Oh, okay. Yeah, didn't he get locks there. the rock. Yep. <laughs> Spite. Well, you must lock something, right? Yeah. I'm going to lock, I guess. It's either lock a rock, lock your friends. Yeah. As a general rule, I mean, in a situation like that, when you know that it's a turn where you know you're not going to get a shot, you should absolutely try to take the advantage of the opportunity to grab a lock then. Yeah, because definitely. those locks can come back two, three turns later to really help you potentially yeah. win a game. Other than a focus or calculate, which is just going to disappear. Exactly. If yeah. you don't, if you don't think, if you know your opponent's not going to shoot at you, and you know you won't get the shot because they'll evade, grab that lock when you can. Yeah. Yeah, and so they'll probably have one more round of engagement if they Boba can really get moving. But Boba's really got to do some work to get back to those guys and it doesn't look like Greg's in a big rush to go up and make that any easier for you absolutely why would he right there's no need for him to chase it he should set up a net and he wants to get all four arcs on Bulba on the next engage I think yeah to, to really pressure him He's doing the 1k mm -hmm. but you can then hard to after to fix himself as well Just yep there he goes one bank clears the stress and repairs his damage sensor array so he can do actions once again seems like a good idea actions are great <laughs> so boba electing to repair damage sensor array perfect so good now he's back ready to do so his options are mm. yeah he's can i think he's probably going to try to come up this lane way in here. But what if he talons? Yeah, if he and then cuts he, in. He could but. possibly do that too. <clears throat> but whatever he's gonna do, he's gotta do it. ASAP. He can't wait. He doesn't have time. I wonder if Greg just moves this guy forward and parks him on that debris cloud. That's an, that's definitely an and option. And then maybe try to get this guy onto the same one, possibly. Yep. That is one of the uh, amazing little features that the vultures can do it's an option they have just like we're gonna live here now mm -hmm. but i think actually based off that maneuver i think uh droid five is gonna hard to to join up with droid two yeah looks like they're moving on a really good clip so uh so that's always courteous if you know that you're at the advantage if you if you slow down not to do that not to be that guy. Mm -hmm. Just to, yeah, play the game. And there you go. That's exactly the formation that Greg wanted to be back in to face down the Bulba. Nicely done. Yeah. yeah. So a lot of players that don't do the math, maybe, might think, oh, am I up? Am I okay? Well, well I'm just going to run away and, oh, I lose because the math doesn't work out for me. Yep. But so then Antex got can't. stressed because that uh, white hard three turned into a red. Yep. All right. So there he goes. He does the hard one. He does the boost because he's got the passive mods with the lone wolf and all his other things. So he's going to have some engagement. There we go. So five minutes left. We're going to mm -hmm. have a good couple rounds of engagement now. Okay, so he just get applauds and he burns the lone wolf for one hit. And one evade disrespect. So if yeah, so he could pea shoot this one through. Yeah, he's already burned the lone wolf. Yeah.
He's safe. I don't think he's going to damage him there. Uh, I didn't think he would damage him there. Oh, he no, did he, take a crit. He oh, he did, yeah. Because alone Blue Stabilizer. So he has to go straight next turn, or he'll take another damage. It's the one that always gets oh, me. I don't think he can go straight. Yeah. that's a, He's hitting that rock if he goes straight. Yeah. It's not a great spot for him. That's an unfortunate crit to receive then. Yeah, I think that Cam, though, he's, you know, he's resigned. He knows he had to do that. That's, yes, he had to get, you're right. He had to get that kill. He had to get that ship off there. He's he's doing what he has yeah. to do in the situation. Yeah. I think he's going to have to bank or uh, fire space fastest forward as a four. Yeah. That would potentially clear that one, two. Or he's just going to be the bumping and sitting on that rock, which Cam doesn't want. Yeah, if that's, you're better off banking, crashing. Yeah, crashing, taking, taking the, the damage, damage and shooting something at range one. Yeah, but and then getting you know, a rerolls with Cam with Cam rolling the lone wolf on that all blank though. You know, yeah. he's he's a seasoned player. He knows it's up. <laughs> you know, he's played Greg so many times. He knows how this goes. Mood in the house is a little bit uh, quieter, more somber Sunday morning. Yep. But we're all back here. Drones don't have any uh, one banks, right? They have no slow maneuvers. If I'm, they, they can do. I believe. Uh, I don't know. I can't recall. I just I know they're like their dials are so bizarre. Yeah, they just blow your mind. Yeah, it's like this dial. What is this? <laughs> they really do. Don't fly like anything else. <laughs> they're very funky. They're the opposite of correct. <laughs> <laughs> It has no ones that clear stress, if I recall. I think only its stress yeah. clears are blues. Or it can the only do blues hard are twos. twos. Yeah. I believe blue. But it, yes, yeah, it's a very, very odd dial. So the Hive Guard. We're getting the nod from the GRX chairman of the board over here. What? Tristan. Commissioner, please. Oh, right. Commissioner, pardon me. He resigned uh, chairman of the board earlier this year. It was a bit of a coup. Something to do with league funds, but we're not going to talk about that. All right, so Greg's jumping in there. Hot. Uh, the three bank is stressful on those guys? Uh, Apparently. I think it is, yeah. Unless, yeah, because that guy didn't have damage or engine or anything like that. So he's just getting in there to punish. Yeah. But I think that that actually benefits Boba. He d he's got to do a straight, and I think with them being in that position... He's going to not hit that rock. There's a chance mm. that the little nodule poking out the side won't be under the corner of his base. I don't know. But I think it hits the rock. We'll I see. don't like it at all. We'll see. Greg's Greg's got the bloodthirst for sure. Yeah. Is that a bump? Oh, that's unfortunate. Yeah, both both players are commenting on that. Maybe that should have been a heart too, but you know, you can't make every single maneuver right all the time. All right, here comes Mr. Nantex. All right, Bobo with three health left. Did he do a straight? Did he do a bank? Did he do a turn? Considering options here. So this is going to be the turn. Yep, one minute left. So there. So Greg's just asking about the point situation, yep. so and that he can make the situation. decision effectively, because he knows that he's up on points, and he's asking. He's asking Cam how the points work out. Boba did the one bank, took the damage. We had the marshal come in, assist, just to make sure we've got precise. Yeah. Just going to get this round here. So Boba's down to two health. And also Greg was um, really contemplating on the, the ensnare barrel to get him out of Boba's arc. Because if he does, as you can see by the points, yep. keeping that Nantex uh, alive is, is kind of the principle behind him. Absolutely. 
All right, so here we go. Boba, his big shot. Pow. Three hits and a crit. One bay bay. All right, one kablam. Something died hard. Mm -hmm. Now it's all about hanging on with those two out. Um, Boba Fett. One less reroll for Boba now. Yeah, and <laughs> also that was the the coordinate that he really needed. Yeah. Oh, we're getting in with the laser lad. Yeah, it's incredibly close. Is it obstructed? Is it not obstructed? Unobstructed. Call is unobstructed. We are final after time. Oh, oh. man. If no he had. Odds. Wifferino. Okay. So now it's all down to the. Uh, yeah. Nothing. Nantex firing out the front. Oh, and that's it. And that's the game. Wow. There you go, 139 so, to 129. A literal photo finish down to the end. That was a nail biter. Yeah, that was great. Incredibly well played by both opponents. Thank you guys for being on stream and playing an awesome game for us. And uh, thank you all for joining us for another excellent and